think today's day that the 12 year old me who have always wanted to just eat a massive platter or even a massive spread of junk food for breakfast is going to do exactly that. Today on this episode, I went all the way to Waterford, Ontario to this awesome little place called Ritzy Cakes and Eatery. Now they opened this place back in 2011 and what they're turning out is absolutely amazing. And this is only the amazing desserts they make. They are as beautiful as they are delicious. On top of making these amazing pastries and desserts and donuts and cookies and cheesecakes and this is just one good portion of what they serve every day on top of making your own customized cakes that you can pre-order which I recommend doing in advance they are very well done Robin is a master of her craft I cannot say enough about how good she is with her cake not only are they this amazing bake shop and this amazing cake shop they also have the eatery side of their business now their son Michael who is a chef who's graduated from Niagara College is doing some amazing work every week he'll post a menu by I believe Tuesday or Wednesday on their Facebook page you can pre-order that for the Friday meal or the Saturday meal or both if you choose and you can actually go pick up an amazing meal that's already pre-made and bring it home and have a delicious family dinner while still doing takeout at the same time while still doing social distancing and it's the perfect combination between amazing food eating it at home and supporting local and this place is very very big on supporting local they want to help local small business grow as well as the locals have helped their small business grow now I can sit here and talk about Robin and Paul and how great they are and how great their business is and the traffic alone the locals can tell you way more than I can but I know just from going to get coffees and sandwiches and ordering meals on a Friday I love supporting this small business and that's why I want to do this video. I want to show you what I love locally. And if you've never tried it, I really hope I've convinced you to try it. And if you have tried it, thank you. And please keep supporting them. They're amazing people. Now in front of me, you see this awesome dish that looks like the 12 year old me was given $100, went to the local bake shop and went to town. So we have all three kinds of their butter tarts. We have the pecan, the regular, and the ra raisin butter tart. We have carrot cake. We have, oh my God, brownies. Pecan butter tart bar. Personal favorite right there. Me and pecan butter tarts were like this. I love them, they love me. Naomi bars. I hope I pronounced that right. If I didn't, just let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> now these right here are like, heaven and earth right here. This is proof that all great things do exist. On top of all that, we have some of the most amazing cupcakes. Now these cupcakes are readily available every single day. Now we do have the Oreo, chocolate raspberry, the score, the triple chocolate, the double vanilla, and the lemon. They're, they are as beautiful as they are delicious. And with your morning coffee and tea, grab yourself a cheese scone. These are good. Baked in-house, absolutely delicious. Their cookies, my kids love their cookies. My kids cannot get enough of their cookies. Now the cheesecakes. But for cheesecakes today, we have the chocolate chip, Chunky Monkey. We have the carrot caramel cheesecake, the Oreo cheesecake, and the turtle cheesecake. And I think today's the day the 12 year old me is gonna enjoy that sugar rush I always wanted to enjoy as a kid. Now we're gonna get started with my favorite. Like these donuts, are fantastic. You cannot go wrong with this apple fritter. This apple fritter, that I would probably accept getting in trouble from my wife going to buy one of these and not bring one back for her. Now I'd love to eat all this in front of you, but by the end of the episode, I'd be climbing the walls, hanging upside down, and probably turning into Mr. Peepers from Saturday Night Live. Pecan butter tart. This isn't your store-bought pecan. This is made in house. It's not like perfectly molded. It has imperfections, which makes it 
actually perfect. You know there was made with love. This isn't some prefabricated roll out the door, you know, type two dollar supermarket sugar load. This, this right here is what your sweets and desserts should be. They should be made local. They should be made fresh. And I love butter tarts. Now you obviously don't see me touch the cookies today. I did set the cookies aside for my children. The cookies are absolutely amazing. They're made in house. They're really soft. They're really tender, just like everything else they make. Everything is made with as much love as possible. Cupcakes. Miniature versions of Robin's staple, cakes. Her cakes, I just, I cannot tell you how amazing they are. Her craftsmanship, her attention to detail, her ability to blow you away every single time she comes up with an idea or you give her the idea of what you want and you watch her bring it to life. These, they're, just, they're beautiful little things. Look, here's the score. Look how beautiful that is. This is just a simple cupcake. And yet a simple cupcake looks so beautiful. The score. I love score bars. I've been eating them since I was a kid. That crunchy toffee is absolutely delicious. I love score bar. And it's simple. It's a vanilla cupcake and all your decoration is on top. Now, for some of you who do know me, you know, I used to be a pretty big guy and I went through a weight loss. But I think after today, I'm going to put it all back on. <laughs> and here's an old fat kid trick for those of you who don't know. Take your bottom. You peel it off. Oh, you have caramel on the inside. Look at that. Oh. Now I could sit here all day, eating every last bit of this in front of the camera, just to make you hungry and jealous. Some things I'm gonna eat entirely right in front of you because I want to eat it entirely right now. I don't want to wait until the cameras are off. Cheesecakes. Cheesecakes are absolutely amazing. And I have my hidden fork for whenever there's cheesecake. Just like magic, I just pull it out of thin air. Not really, a little bit of editing trick. I actually forgot to grab it earlier. So, the one in front here, carrot caramel. That's what we're going for. Now, because it was chilled and it is starting to warm up and wouldn't quite stand up, I laid it down in front for your viewing pleasure. If you could imagine a cheesecake flavor in your mind and you know exactly what a cheesecake is supposed to taste like, that is it brought to life right there. I could eat this for at least nine squirt meals a day. This is good. This is going. This goes great with your morning coffee your morning tea, your morning latte, whatever you choose to drink. This one's great to grab on the go. If I want something quick to grab, that's, you know, my morning carbohydrates. I'd go for this. I usually do my carbs first thing in the morning. This is perfect for it. Grab this with my morning coffee on my way to work, on my way to training. You know, wherever I happen to be, whatever I happen to be doing, wherever I happen to be going. Nothing I love more than going and saying good morning to Robin and Paul, grabbing a coffee and a scone and starting my day. The desserts. These are what you go and enjoy all to yourself. Don't share with anybody. They don't need a piece. If your wife says give me a bite, your husband says give me a bite, no, get your own. The magic fork. 
Let's start with the Oh My God Brownie. Oh, that is so tender. They call this the Oh My God Brownie. And oh my God, it looks so delicious. When you see it on the counter, it looks like the one of the first things that just draws your eye. It's, if you love chocolate, this thing is going to laser beam your eyeballs onto it. You're going to instantly connect to it when you walk through the door. And you're probably going to want to try this. That brownie is so moist. With the frosting on top, and the brownie and the nut and the caramel on top. Wow. That brownie, it's... It's amazing how like it's not it's not too dense it's not too fluffy it's like it's a perfect middle of the road brownie it is wow it, it literally lives up to its name oh my god just that brownie base alone doesn't need anything else you, just, you don't even grab milk just grab a plate of them brownies oh my god the carrot cake oh yeah now this this is my wife's favorite right here the carrot cake. My wife cannot get enough carrot cake and she's probably gonna be mad. I'm eating some of this on her. I don't mind carrot cake, but that's good. That is really good. And it's so beautiful. Like it's, she doesn't do anything to go super over the top with some of these, but yet just the right amount of decoration on top makes it so appealing to the eye. If you've never had carrot cake before, Start with this one. Make this the one that you finally try carrot cake with. The Nene Omi Bar. Again, I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. The dark chocolate on top. Everything else underneath, I love dark chocolate. If I have any chocolate, I prefer dark chocolate. We're gonna grab us some nice. Like, look how easy I'm getting these cuts. I'm not trying that hard to put my fork into it. Now, I remember my mother making this whole spread of baked goods at Christmas. And these are one of the things she always made. And I always enjoyed them as a kid. But now we're gonna stack Robin's up to my mom's. And hey, mom, I really hope you brought your A-game all those years ago. That actually tastes almost spot on from what I remember from my childhood. It's not too often I ever have these, and not since I was a kid pretty much. But wow, that is exactly what I remember flavor-wise. The textures, that dark chocolate on top has just the right amount of thickness and the right amount of firmness to it. That middle layer is nice and soft. It is, it's almost like creamy. It is, it is what I remember the textures supposed to be. Now for this pecan butter tart bar. Hands down, I think I'm just gonna officially upgrade. I love butter tarts. The bar, it's just a whole nother level. They don't change much ingredients wise, but the presentation, the assembly, the way everything plays together, when you, when you can take the same basic ingredients and just present them in a new way, it can change everything and it has. Now, I promised my family I'd save them some of this. Because on top of filming these videos, which I absolutely enjoy doing, they actually enjoy enjoying a lot of food with me. They actually enjoy enjoying a lot of the food with me. English is hard sometimes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to check out my review video of Ritzy Cakes and Eatery in Waterford, Ontario. Drop a like, drop a comment, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and of course, stay hungry.